आइकुलियन चैनल में यहाँ लाइस स्वागत है। आज के वक्त में हमें सोशियोलॉजी ऑफ जेंडर में की कॉन्सेप्ट ऑफ द डाटा ऑफ बायोलॉजी डिस्कस बाय डी बिफोर 1949। व्हाट इज़ द की आर्गुमेंट ऑफ द डाटा ऑन बायोलॉजी एस डिस्कस बाय साइमन डी बिफोर 1949। लेयर आए कैसों शुरुआत करने सा� Simon de Beaver was a French writer, intellectual, philosopher, political activist, feminist, and social theorist. theorist. Though she did not consider herself as a philosopher, she significantly influenced feminist and feminist theory. Beaver wrote novels, essays, biographies, autobiographies, and monographs on philosophy, politics, and social issues. She was known for her treatise, The Second Sex, 1949, a detailed analysis of women's oppression and a foundational tract of contemporary feminism. Simon de Weaver begins her introduction by explaining that she chose to write a book about women's because there is still a controversy over what is means to be a woman in the first place. Is femininity biological or defined by behaviors or non-existence in the first place? Question mark. She begins to define the category of woman because she feels the need to define herself first and foremost as a woman. In contrast, men do not need to identify so overtly with their masculinity. The woman is the other because man defines himself as essential to the world and sees himself as the subject by which a man is defined. The Beauvoir also gives women responsibility for changing this duality, pointing out that women must redefine themselves as the subject to change their situation. She does not explain that it is more difficult for women to change this dynamic than it would be for the portrait Jews or American Africans to rebel against their oppressions because women cannot simplify over though their a processor women do not mean to survive. The Beauvoir point out that writing about this duality is difficult because men and women have strong biases. To resolve this problem, she proposed a framework in which we do not consider how to achieve happiness because this is impossible to measure. But Instead, how to define and achieve woman's freedom. In the first part of her work, she will consider three different perspectives on defining woman biological data, the psychoanalytical point of view and the point of view of historical materialism. In her chapter on biological data, the Beauvoir primarily considered two questions. What does female representation in the animal kingdom? Moreover, what unique kind of female is realized in a woman? Question mark. She points out that division into two sexes is not universal. For example, one-celled animals reproduce individually and hypophroditic species do exist. When considering evolutionary theory, she concludes that neither biological system can be called superior. She disputes the assumption of philosophers like Plato and Hegel who believe that division into two sexes is a natural state of being. She also point out the social theories that discriminate against women based on biology either make false assumptions or are too bold in their analogies. The relationship between 
gametes and codons cannot be equated to the relationship between women and men. For example, two significant biases against female biology are particularly misguided. Females are not more passive nor the gardeners of reproduction since sperm and ovum meet on an equal basis to lead to new life. In conclusion, the viewer returns Agnes assuming anything about the battle of the sex in humans based on fact that nature she series several examples of different species in which the two sexes intricate in a very different ways with the either male or female dominating the other in humans she points out the purity is more like a crisis for women Wakening them more than men, for women, the body became something other than her. In the sense that women must deal with childbirth and other functions that do damage to their bodies. While men remain comfortable in their skin, based on this, she points out the older women beyond reproductive is are sometimes considered separate sex because reproductive capacity is so central to how we define females. She concepts that such biological facts about humans are essential to understanding the female condition overall. However, she does not believe they look women into any specific destiny, but are rather one piece of the puzzle. Thank you very much for listening.